Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna quickly go over all the new sets that are coming with patch U37, also called Scraps of Fate, from a tank's perspective, or more from a PvE support's perspective. I want to talk about all of them, but for most of them it will be me talking about why a certain set is bad. So if you just want to see the one good set that will be worth getting, then skip to the timestamp shown on the screen, as Ozez and the Inferno is the only set coming with this patch that's worth looking at for supports, not necessarily from tank's perspective, but from a healer's perspective. Now let's start with the Bal Sunar dungeon. Light Armor set. Ride Master's Bond. Healing an ally within 12 meters with a direct heal creates a 15 meter tether between you for 10 seconds. This effect can occur once every 15 seconds. You and allies touching the tether are healed every second, scaling off the higher of your max magicka or stamina. If you or an ally is overhealed by the tether, they gain minor heroism for 1.5 seconds. So this set is really bad. First of all, minor heroism can be kept up by a potion, so wasting a 5 piece set on it isn't a good idea. These potions are horribly expensive, but you can also use the Hope Infusion Champion point for that purpose. It won't have a perfect uptime, but neither will this set, as the tether lasts 10 seconds, the effect lasts 1.5 seconds, and the cooldown is 15 seconds. So the maximum uptime you could achieve in a perfect scenario is 77%, but even then it will be extremely hard to touch your entire group with a tether at all times. Medium Armor set, Nick Sounds Howl. Completing a fully charged heavy attack applies major cowardice to your target for 1 second per 1000 weapon damage you have, lowering their weapon and spell damage by 430. You then gain major courage for the same duration, increasing your weapon and spell damage by 430. This effect can occur once every 12 seconds. This set is also bad. Major courage is a buff that will be provided by all rim or spell power cure sets in optimized groups. And Major Cowardice has better sources such as Vicosa set or Nightblade's Aspect of Terror skill. Not to mention that this set provides very bad uptime, while the previously mentioned stuff like Olorim and Aspect of Terror can provide perfect uptime of Major Courage and Major Cowardice. Heavy Armor set, Talvani Enforcer. While bracing, increase your magic recovery by 369. While you are not bracing, increase your stamina recovery by 369. The amount of recovery this set provides is just way too small to justify giving up a 5 piece set. Monster set, Rocks are dwarfed. Each second you are in combat, gain a stack of Dark Light, up to 30 stacks. Each stack of Dark Light increases your stamina recovery, magic recovery and health recovery by 8. Each second you are out of combat, lose a stack of Dark Light. Unfortunately, the One Piece bonus is much weaker than that of Magma Incarnate. It gives 59 less stamina and magic recovery, and the health recovery is mostly irrelevant. After 30 seconds, you'll reach the maximum of 240 health, stamina and magic recovery, which with major, minor endurance and intellect will provide sustain similar to that of Engine Guardian. It'll be more consistent than Engine Guardian, but it won't regenerate stamina while blocking. So I think Engine Guardian will still be the better option. Now moving on to the Scrivener's Hold Dungeon. Light Armor Set, Rune Carver's Blaze. Your damage over time effect deal additional flame damage on the third damage tick. This damage scales off your weapon or spell damage and always applies the burning status effect. This is purely damage set so I have nothing to say about it from a tank or support point of view. Medium armor set. Apocryphal inspiration. You and group members within 28 meters of you gain major fortitude, major intellect and major endurance, increasing your health recovery, magic recovery and stamina recovery by 30%. This is a completely useless set because everyone will already have these buffs from their potions. Try stats, spell powers, weapon powers and heroism pots. Heavy armor set. Abyssal brace. While you are bracing, you and group members within 12 meters of you gain minor evasion, reducing damage from area attacks by 10%. This set is interesting because so far there is only one source of minor evasion in the entire game, Warden's Deceptive Predator skill. The one place that comes to my mind where this set could be useful is the Falgraven fight, where I've seen some beginner groups utilize the Grave Guardian set to get through execute, and Abyssal Brace would provide even bigger damage mitigation in that place when combined with major evasion. Monster set. Ozezan the Inferno. Overhealing yourself or an ally grants them 4272 armor for 1 second. Healing yourself or an ally grants them minor vitality for 1 second, increasing their healing receipt by 8%. This set looks really strong for increasing the survivability of DDs in your group. 4272 armor should be around 9% damage mitigation for an average DD. Minor vitality is a very rare buff, with its only sources being 2 skills, which you won't use on a damage dealer, Green Dragon Blood and Mystic Guard and 3 bad item sets, Holofang Thirst, Naga Shaman and Order of Diagna. As much as I think this set will be great to increase DD survivability, I don't think you should be balancing your armor around it as a tank, since it only lasts 1 second and triggers only on overheals, which means that if you balance your armor with Ozezan in mind, you'd be down to 28,728 armor 
whenever you haven't been full health for a single second, which means you'll miss out on 11.43% damage mitigation the moment you take any significant damage, which is exactly when you'd need this mitigation. Now moving on to PvP sets which you can get from Rewards of the Worthy. Light Armor set, Snake in the Stars. Applying a major or minor debuff to an enemy applies Star Venom to them for 6 seconds. This effect can occur once every 12 seconds. Whenever an enemy with Star Venom is healed, they take 2848 Oblivion damage, up to once per second. An enemy can only be affected by one instance of Star Venom at a time, useless in PvE. Medium Armor set, Shell Splitter. When an enemy blocks one of your attacks, increase your offensive penetration by 631 for 5 seconds. This effect can stack up to 20 times. You can gain one stack every half second. Once again, useless in PvE. Heavy Armor set, Judgment of Akatosh. When you deal direct damage with a blink, charge, leap, teleport or pull ability, you distort time on your enemy. After 3 seconds, the enemy bursts with temporal energy, reducing the movement speed of all enemies within 12 meters by 70% for 6 seconds and stunning them for 3 seconds. This effect can be blocked and can occur once every 15 seconds. Very bad set. There are much easier ways to stun your enemy rather than wasting a 5 piece set, not to mention the 15 second cooldown. That's it. Thanks for watching and if you have any more questions feel free to ask in the comments. See you in the next video.